Hello everyone, it's Steve with Aptera Owners Club. Okay, so a few days ago, Aptera is showing their windshield wiping system. And I kind of assumed they already had this figured out, but I guess they are refining it or still working on it. And there's a couple of things to notice here. So the biggest thing I noticed is this is a mono blade system. So the most common system on cars is two wiper blades. All the cars I've ever owned are um, two wiper blades. I think the Cybertruck also has a mono blade. There's several other cars, uh, most notably like Mercedes first um, had the mono blade um, on several of their cars. And there are advantages and disadvantages to this mono blade. The other thing that is uh, noticeable is that the windshield wiper fluid sprays out from the blade rather than from the hood. You know, most cars have a little nozzles on the hood here and they spray the jets from there. Obviously that doesn't work because the solar panel's there and you would have to mount the nozzles on the solar panel. So that doesn't work. So this is a system and there's advantages and disadvantages to that system as well. So um, looking into this, I looked at the basic uh, wiper system. So there's the basic single blade wiper system. And this is kind of what Aptera has going on, except their coverage ends right about here. So you get kind of this half circle. So there's a corner of on the passenger side that doesn't get covered as well, but the Aptera windshield kind of narrows down at the top. So it, actually you get almost perfect coverage with this because it kind of is kind of like this action going on on Aptera and it's because of the slope angle of the windshield it's quite tall and and because the cabin is fairly narrow the windshield is relatively narrower so I think a single blade system gets very good coverage for this um, there's a more complex single blade sy system if your windshield is wider it what it does is it has a mechanism in the front where as it goes to the middle it pulls the blade down and then back up this increases the complexity and um, that's why most uh, cars, because they have a wider windshield, they go with a dual blade system, which is this. So the parallel dual windscreen wiper system, this is the most common system seen. So, uh, sometimes like the driver side is a little bit bigger than the uh, passenger side and the passenger side is a little smaller, but most cars have this dual blade system. And then you've probably seen this system where they're opposite. And I've seen this more often in like trucks and some commercial vehicles. And then there's a triple uh, windshield wiper system. I've never seen this before, but evidently there were a few um, sports cars that had this system, as well as the Toyota FJ Cruiser has this system. And then there are some systems which are less common where the windshield wiper comes in from the top uh, and things like that. But by far and away, the most common system is this system. And Aptera is going with this system, which I think works well just because of the geometry of Aptera's windshield. Now, what are the advantages of this system? The single blade system has um, much better aerodynamics and it is simpler to implement. Um, the downside is, is in heavy rain, it does not uh, wipe the windshield as effectively as um, a dual blade system. Although depending on how quickly it's it's going back and forth, you may do fine with it. But overall, it's better aerodynamics, it's lighter, it's cheaper, it's less complex. And, um, but the downside is in heavy rain, it may not perform quite as well as a dual wiper system. But overall for what, um, and you know, obviously the coverage is not quite as good but I think because of Aptera's geometry, it, the coverage is actually pretty good with a single wiper system. And of course, Aptera wants something that's light, simple, not complex, and has good aerodynamics. So it's got all that under, under control. This happens, this article I found happened to be a part four of a modern wiper system thing. And I kind of found parts one, two, and three. And it was kind of interesting. I found out a couple of things which maybe you guys are interested in. The, the first, the kind of the, the mother of modern windshield wipers was this lady named Mary Anderson. She was a um, inventor in the late 1800s, early 1900s, and she filed this patent, which basically is considered the mother of modern uh, windshield wiper design. And then later on, there the first um, wipers were actually so these. The first wipers back in the day were basically hand crank systems. You would crank it by hand. 
Um, and this one was, Mary Anderson's was for a car, but a lot of them were for, for like trolleys and locomotives. Um, and then they worked on a hand crank system, which is kind of funny to think that you'd be hand cranking them. But they, they're in um, 1919, they, these guys applied for a patent for automatically operated windshield cleaner. And this one used compressed air. So it was a pneumatic system, not an electrical system. Now today there's mostly an electrical system. And then there were various implementations like intermittent wipers, um, uh, rain sensing, that kind of stuff. Uh, and th those were done you know, throughout the 1900s and early 2000s. This is funny because this one says uh, next adventure comes from Japan, but clearly this is Korean writing um, right here. And then the other uh, patent that they show here, they, this is actually Japanese writing right here. Um, well, this is Chinese writing rather. Um, and it was uh, implemented by Chinese and Japanese workers from the Denso Corporation. But anyways, that's how we ended up with the current wiper systems. The other thing is if you look back at this, you'll notice that the nozzle jets again come from the wiper and there does seem to be quite a bit of overspray when they activate it. You'll see it kind of sprays, it sprays across the side and sprays a lot on the roof. A lot of the fluid goes above. Um, I don't know if that's something that's a problem or they can fix or it doesn't really matter that you're wasting a little bit of wiper fluid. Um, so the advantages and disadvantages of the having the windshield wiper fluid spray from the uh, actual wiper is the advantage is, is independent of the speed of the vehicle you get this basically the same amount of um you get the same coverage of the windshield wiper fluid um like if you have the nozzles on the hood then if you're going faster then usually they're these things are tuned to give you correct spray coverage on the windshield when you're going like 60 70 miles per hour they're 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 kind of geared toward highway speed um because that's usually when the bugs are going to be a problem and stuff um so if you spray it when you're like standing still or um going slower the jets will spray over your windshield and not hit your windshield quite as well because they're made for when you're going at speed now having the spray on the windshield wiper kind of gets rid of that problem the downside of that is that the windshield wiper fluid doesn't have that much time to be on your windshield to effectively clean it, uh, which may be a plus or a minus. Some people consider it a minus because obviously they want a little more time for the fluid to be on the, the bug bladder or, or whatever to get to, to wet it down so it wipes better. The It could be a positive in that if you have the spray on there for a long time before the wiper um, wipes it, then if you, for that split second, you're going to have less visibility out your windshield. So that that's the plus and minus of that. But overall, I think for Aptera system, they, they have to go, go do it this way because you can't mount the nozzle on the windshield, on, on the hood rather, like on most vehicles that, um, the majority of the vehicles that uh, we've seen. So anyways, there, oh, the final thing I wanted to notice is they are using what's called a beam blade. So the, instead of a conventional blade, this is a beam blade and that we'll see what that means. So the conventional blade, these are the ones that were more common back in the day. I see most of the modern cars going to this beam blade. So here's the difference. The conventional blade has multiple little spring loaded lever points and they apply pressure here, 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 here. So there's like eight to 10 to however many pressure points that it puts on the wiper blade. However, these beam wipers, they have a like a memory curve steel. It's got a beam that applies like even pressure throughout the entire um, a rubber blade. And it's much better. The other thing is it's much more aerodynamic. Um, and so that's that's the other major advantage of it. So both from an aerodynamic standpoint and from an efficient effectiveness standpoint, the beam wiper plate blade is better. And that is indeed what it looks like after using. So after using a beam wiper blade, mono um, blade design, uh, it's a very simple design. It, it maximizes the efficiency, simplicity, cost. Um, and then they're putting the sprayer on the blade, which helps it get even coverage no matter what speed the vehicle is going. Um, and so, yeah, looks, I don't, so again, 
I don't know if the overspray is a problem or not a problem. Um, you know, windshield wiper fluid is cheap. And um, in, in California, like uh, some people just use water because we don't have to even worry about windshield wiper uh, freezing. Just put a little dish soap in there or something and, and that works out fine. Okay. All right. So this is the progress they're having. Still don't know when the live stream of Hermes is going to happen or Artemis rather. Uh, but uh, we'll keep our eyes peeled for that. All right. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.